everybody, yeah, I'm some J Games here. Well, we're not doing anything about games. We're doing a review of uh, this thing here. When it comes into focus with a camera. The Samsung Galaxy Y. Uh, it's an Android smartphone. It cost me uh, 50 quid from Carphone Warehouse when I upgraded my old phone from it. Well, I actually got to keep my old phone, so I don't know why they called it an upgrade, but it was 50 quid instead of 70. I've seen them go on the internet for about 100, so I don't think that's a bad price. So, without further ado, we'll see what's in the box. In here, well, you get USB lead, uh, Type-A Micro A, I think. Yeah, Micro A. You get charger, but that's downstairs. I can't be bothered getting that up. You've all seen those. You get a micro SD card, two gigs with it, and oh, that's a sandwich micro SD card. And you get jump cut. Sorry, the phone rang, so I had to go pick it up. I think what I was saying before that was it comes with one of these. It is a micro SD card adapter. Your micro SD card goes in there, and then this shoves into your SD card slot on my laptop which is up there with it's funny little bubble desktop background and anyway this plugs into your computer your micro SD card goes in there and you're fine but you have to use this the USB lead yeah does not work it's the phone's not is not visible as a mass storage device so you can't just copy files and folders on and off it like you would say with I don't know another type of phone you need to use Samsung special software or use this which is actually quite useful you get a uh, to get in a quick start guide not too fancy it's not very thick and most of this is health and safety stuff if you want to really get something you can download something off the website I've got it running on the phone uh, bags and the box is pretty much empty now. Anything in the bottom no. But of course, what you do get in the box is the phone itself. Da da. It starts up yet. Yeah. Uh, I'm now going to jump cut again. Turn the lights off so you can. Oh no! Shut the curtain thing so you can actually see what's going on. Jump cut. There we go. Nah. Yeah. Can we turn the brightness down? It's a bit awkward. Uh, there you go. Can you see it better now? Should be able to. It's a bit blurry. There we go, it's in focus now. So let me to explain, this runs uh, Samsung, uh, the Android 2.3 Gingerbread, uh, or 2.2.6 to be more precise. Uh, it will not be getting the upgrade to uh, Honeycomb. They do say on the website though that phones that don't get it will get sort of like a custom Samsung OS that does roughly the same things as Gingerbread. Sorry about the shakiness. It's hard to operate the camera and the tripod. So if you've never used gin Gingerbread before it's got the Play Store which is a little bit like the App Store but for Androids. And you can download lots of stuff there such as games and we'll get into that later. Another thing you can do is on your computer, you can say download the games on the computer. So I'll uh, navigate to the Play Store and we'll download a free app and I'll show you how that works. So I might show you how it works, but I'll show you it download. It's if we go to games, top three, the, 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 that pig one looks okay. Yeah, it's supported. So you just press install and select your device, it's already selected mine. Uh, you press install 
and it's now going to start downloading and as you can probably see look it finally focuses in you can see the little loading bar just obscured it with my finger anyway this does not have a TV out otherwise I would be probably recording this I don't have a DVI thingy but I'm sure I could find one out somewhere uh, it's got GPS and I'm not going to show you that because then you'll be able to see where I live that's not the best system What's, what is this with me with systems what else uh, it runs like a custom version of Android so you may notice most Android things don't have this button on the bottom that Samsung devices do uh, it runs most 2D games but when it comes to 3D stuff it doesn't really run so stuff such as Temple Run it does, doesn't like it doesn't let you install that which is a bit annoying but I have my iPod for that anyway uh, I'll go into specs a little little bit later on just noticed it lagging there and thought about specs uh, it comes with Google's voice recognition I'm now going to test that now so now I'm going to I don't know tell it to search for BBC technology news yet so why is it loud? BBC Technology News. Didn't like that. Seems to go. BBC Technology News. And it's doing something. Yep. And I don't know whether you can see this. But it has come up with BBC News Technology. And if you scroll, how do you. We will search bell. Anyway, that's come up with BBC te BBC Technology News. Uh, I got the home button. Uh, so that's just one thing. The GPS is fairly good. It comes with Wi-Fi as well. So uh, that little thing down there that turns off 3G, and I don't have. Th oh, it's got 3G as well. Uh, so I've turned all thingy network off all uh, data networks off it would cost me a fortune a literal like a proper fortune Th 30 pence a day to be exact because I am on pay as you go I don't really use phones that much it plays you YouTube videos the colors look a bit like they're in stages if you don't know what I mean because like, it hasn't got a very good bit depth I think that's what you call it when playing YouTube videos for most things the process is fine for playing games and various things jump cut again sorry my SD card ran out of space uh, probably should fix that and 2 gigs quite small so I was saying about YouTube I think about that uh, next is cameras so I'll flip it over it has no front facing camera there are little holes up there that's for a proximity sensor it comes with a proximity sensor an accelerometer basically a tilt sensor an accelerometer and a compass so you can do that type of stuff uh, as well as a proximity sensor so it's got a back camera it is 2 megapixels yep 2 megapixels I got the stats up here for it now uh, let's have a look Oh, just not the camera. Sorry. Uh, it's got a nice capacitive touchscreen. Everyone loves a capacitive touchscreen. Uh, a multi-touch capacitive touchscreen. Uh, three three inches. Uh, it has got uh, HSDPA 2.7 megabits, 3G, Bluetooth, of course. Uh, it comes with a, a 830, uh, yeah, 830 megahertz and six processors. It would be nice to have one one gigahertz, but you can't really complain with the price, battery life, various things. Uh, now the camera looks very much like this. And the video sound very much like this. So the view 
to my bedroom window. Probably hear the birds and my voice. Yep. And yep, right, we're back in the video now. So, what apps does it support? That's another question. So, oh, so you probably want to comment on the camera quality from me. Uh, camera's fine, video's a bit clunky. The camera's fine for the Pratos. Why do they put handles on tripods? I keep on knocking them. Anyway, what apps does it support? Well, as you can probably see, uh, Angry Birds. For phone players, Angry Birds, you can't really go wrong. Both Angry Birds, as Facebook supported, YouTube, Twitter, uh, it's Fruit Ninja, Instagram works with it, uh, what else? Oh, Draw Something doesn't work, and uh, Temple Run doesn't work, but I talked about that earlier. I don't know whether I was cut off there. Uh, yeah, I don't really fancy showing any of the games. You've seen Angry Birds before. I've been here some J Games. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.